I just made this cool application that lets you search, discover paintings or art based on some user input using Cloudflare's Vectorize vector database. But first off, what are vectors? You can think of vectors as numerical representations of data. So we can have like an image, uh, text, or even audio, and you convert those using an embeddings model, LLM, into a numerical representation, like two, two, two. Let's just go with that. So you have some form of data and then you convert those to vectors, numbers, and those can be more easily understood by the LLM. Why is that important, you ask? Well, let's say you have a cat and a dog. Those are going to be closer on this plane than a plane, lol. So these vectors, the numbers are more similar to objects or items that are more similar to them. So that's called similarity search. Vector databases let us perform similarity searches. So if you were to input um, travel, it would convert that into an embedding, compare that vector to plane, and be like, that has more in common, that vector has more in common with plane than with cat or dog. So how our app works, so how our app works is that the user inputs a query, let's say light, and that user query is converted into an embedding using an embedding model and then passed to an LLM. Then the LLM compares that user input to the vector database that it has access to, Cloudflare Vectorize, compares that embedding to these embeddings and returns the most similar, returns the most similar vector embedding. The vector database contains vectors about images, and we will look at some models hosted on Cloudflare Workers AI that we use to convert paintings into vectors, and that we also use to convert the user query, the user input, into vectors. Here we are in the Cloudflare Workers AI models section. We have so many models hosted on Cloudflare that you can run with a few lines of code for tasks like summarization, text embeddings, text classification, text generation, and more. Of course, we are interested in text, not classification, text embeddings. We have different text embedding models that can be faster, smaller, faster, <laughs> shorter, more accurate, and more, and they also depend on your input. Let's look at our application, Art Vision AI, woo. So we're gonna add some artwork to the database because we can do that. And I've already added some like Van Gogh, uh, Da Vinci and more. We're gonna copy image address, go back here and put the URL. Oh, there's our image that we want to add to the database. Analyze and add artwork. And this hits the lava model that analyzes images because the embeddings model that we have are for text. And though you can convert images to embeddings, our model is a text embedding. So we need to convert the image to text using lava and then convert that to an embedding. So our AI art analysis, the painting depicts a group of young women in a dance studio practicing their ballet moves. The main subject is a young girl in a white dress who's performing a ballet move. The other girls are all dressed in white and it goes into some detail and we'll see that prompt shortly. And of course we can search artworks that have already been uploaded and embedded. Uh, let's look at food. Analyzing artworks with AI and all of 
the similarities have a similar similarity score. So the top two matches for food share a common theme of featuring fruit, specifically apples as the central subject. This AI art comparison was generated using a llama text generation model. And here we have the text description generated by llama. And we have other ones as well. I don't know why these were that similar to food. I guess like ocean is relevant to water is relevant to food. Flowers could be eaten, perhaps. Uh, you can also look up style, like impression, impressionist. Are these impressionist? So I guess that style kind of is impressionist. Okay. Interesting about this one. Anyways, let's dig into some code. Okay. Okay. Here we have our HTML file that lets you input art to the database and then it hits different endpoints of our Cloudflare worker. So we get the input artwork URL, display it, check, validate the URL, run the add artwork function, and embed it. And then we await the response. So then we would display that as well. Clear the form. You can search art, getting the input like when we did food. And then we hit slash search, passing in our query like food, light, impressionist. And then we display the results and we make it pretty. Yeah. Loop through all the matches. There might be an error, show error. Here in our ringle.json, see worker file, we have our AI binding. So we can use workers AI models, like the embeddings model, llama model, llama model, text, for gen text generation. And we have our vectorized vector database. So we can reference and add to, you can also clear, slash clear would delete all the vectors in the vector database. Um, add, search, query, yeah. Use our vector database. Here we have our async fetch handler. If it's just slash, we display the HTML static file. If it's embed, we handle the embed request. If it's slash search, handle search request. And if it's slash clear, handle clear request. Makes sense. Handle clear request is where we get all the vectors from the vector database and delete them delete by IDs and we get those IDs by matching IDs. Handle embed request. We get the input URL, image URL, get the image data, verify that the content type is an image, convert it to a blob with a array buffer, analyze the image with lava, L-L-A-V-A, do not need that. And here is where we run the lava model on Cloudflare Workers AI. And we do reference, we do use AI Gateway to analyze and automatically cache our LLM requests. Check our raw lava response. Get the description from the response, the textual description of what the image was about. Clean it up if needed create th those text embeddings from that description, and then add those to our vector database. And we keep that metadata, like image URL, so we can reference it, description, timestamp when it was added. And we add that vector with vectorize upstart. They remind me of upstart, like an upstart. Handle search request. 
we get the text query from requested.json, create those embeddings on the search query, search the vector database by querying it, makes sense. Looking for matches, here there are no matches, no artwork related to the query. Process the matches, mapping URL description score, sort by score, and generate a textual explanation for the top two matches with some prompt engineering. We say you're an art expert analyzing why certain artworks match a search query. Provide a concise comparison, under 150 words, of the top two matches. Explain why these are the top matches for the user's input text query. First match is however similar. Second match is however similar. Focus on visual similarities and artistic qualities. Then we generate our LLM response with Llama 3.3, hosted on Cloudflare Workers AI. We use AI Gateway again for automatic caching and some LLM observability. And we get that explanation, LLM response dot response. And that is all we have for this application. So I can't wait to see what you build using Cloudflare Vectorize and Cloudflare AI Gateway.